What's up, it's Meg here with Wall & Good, trainer of the Month Club. So today we have six different plyometric movements. Plyometric means that it's a total body HIIT workout thanks speed, agility, and really getting off the ground in an explosive way with some of these movements. So for this whole first round, like I said, six movements, 30 seconds each, but on the isolated movements, we're gonna be using your left leg. Second round, we'll use your right leg. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into the first movement, one bounding jump into backward high knees. So big jump, land in the squat, back into the high knees. Straight back, land, high knees, tall posture. Now if you want to modify, here, jump up, high knees in place. Right here, up, high knees in place. And then if you're doing the bounding jumps, big scoop, air squat, high knees. Last one here, land, High knees. So next we have pulse lunges. Static lunges, just stay in place. Right here, back leg comes straight. Front leg will be a little bit bent. So the goal is to really use this left glute, coming up to full extension. Torso stays up right here. 30 seconds, got a little bit left. Now make sure that back leg is coming all the way up. Last one, nice. Next up, hip extension jumps. These are tough, so I'll give you a modification. Send your butt to your heels, right up to your feet. Back down, use that hip extension here. Straight up, back down. Modification, stay in the hole with the squat, stand up to full extension. Back down, stay in the hole, back up. Send your butt to your heels, into that squat. Nice job. So next up, burpee into a tuck jump. So here, hand release, tuck jump at the top, back down. Tuck jump. Now if you don't wanna jump, totally fine. Just do the burpee into a small jump. Couple more here. Last one. Next up, two pulse lunges into a curtsy lunge. Left leg's gonna be in front. Remember, we're using that left leg for this whole first round. Torso stays up. Using this glute, square to the side, right back in it. Nice job. Two lunges. Last one here. Good, we got one more movement. So these are gonna be your single leg RDLs. So left leg stays on the ground. All the way down, into a jump. Back down, into that jump. Now if you wanna modify, put your foot down, jump up. Back here, jump up, if you're doing the RDL, leg comes up, jump through, one more, and up. So look, we're gonna go through those six movements one more time, 30 seconds each one. Second circuit here, bow knee jumps, back into high knees. Remember, with your landing in these jumps, be really soft, allow yourself to really get agile, Jumping through your toes on the way back. Really nice tall posture. Remember, if you're modifying, you're gonna come up halfway, high knees. Hinge your hips back, hip extension, high knees. If you're doing the jumps, peel through your toes. Last one. Remember, we're switching to the right leg this round. Pulse lunges, right leg in front. Kiss the ground with your kneecap. All the way up to full extension. Make sure that your torso stays upright, your spine is in line with your neck here. So you're really using that right glute. That's what's stabilizing this entire movement. Face straight forward, hip squared, almost there. And then we're back into your hip extension jumps. On the floor here, send your butt to your heels, 
right into the squat. Back down, hip hinge, all the way up. Be really light with your feet. Allow the least amount of body weight to be absorbed into each one. If you're modifying, step back into the hole here in the squat. Stand up. Last one here. And then we're back into your hand release burpees into a tuck jump. Release your body weight. So these kind of burpees allow you to get full range of motion when it comes to developing push-ups. So if you want to modify, jump through your toes. Both feet back, same time. Through your toes. Nice job, almost there. Last one. Nice. Two pulse lunges into a curtsy lunge. Right foot is in front. And sides, so we're using that right glute to really make that nice tall posture. Remember, kiss the ground with your kneecap. Try not to really hit the ground. Nice job, almost there. I know you feel that right glute. And side. Nice job, last one, using your right leg. Single leg RDL into that jump. Back down, single leg. Jump through if you want to modify. Reach back, right back through that right leg. Barely hit the ground, back up, RDL. Jump up, touch the ground, jump up. Last one, nice job. So those are gonna be my favorite plyometric movements. Six of them, 30 seconds each, two rounds. And these kind of workouts I really like because it's a great way to maximize a minimal amount of time. So all of these movements recruit total body motion, which means they're compound. You're using all the muscles in your body, so this is gonna be really good for a burnout after a run. Or if you wanna string these kind of body weight exercises with an ab workout, perfect exercises. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will catch you next time. Hey, I catch my breath. <laughs>